Assalamu alaikum friends today i am going to present the topic of bacterial conjugation as i told in my previous videos i will explain all the types of genetic recombination in bacteria elaborately so in this video i am going to explain all the experiments which were done for the discovery of bacterial conjugation process so let's start the session friends at that time it was questioned that do bacteria possess any processes similar to sex and recombination in other words i can say that do bacteria possess any gene transfer mechanism so joshua and later work in edward tatum in 1946 performed an experiment what did they do they have selected two of the strains strain a and strain b friends strain a is capable to produce colonies on a minimal medium if the minimal medium is supplemented with methionine and biotin In the same manner, strain B can produce colonies on a minimal medium until and unless this minimal medium was supplemented with threonyl leucine and thiamine. Friends, nutrients possess negative sign. It means that it needs supplement for its growth, while positive sign shows no need of supplement. In other words, I can say that the strain A do not contain genes which is required for the production of methionine and biotin that's why strain a requires these two nutrient elements in its minimal medium then what did it do strain a and strain b and in the mid of this picture mixture of strain a and b what did he do he took the culture from strain a broth and pour it into a minimal medium this minimal medium do not contain any nutrient that's why strain a could not produce colonies on it in the same manner he took the culture from strain b broth and pour it into a minimal medium this minimal medium also do not possess contain any type of nutrient that's why strain b could not produce any type of colony over it but in the mid when he mixed the culture of strain a and strain b and let them grow for few hours then after that he transferred the culture from that both into a minimal medium then what did he see colonies appeared on a minimal medium and the colonies which were appeared are of y types it means they are prototrophic that means they contain all of the genes which can produce all the nutrient elements or nutrient supplements which is required for the growth it means that there must be a gene transfer between these two of the strains as a result a cell produced that type of progeny which is of y type or which is capable to produce colonies on a minimal medium which is not supplemented with any type of nutrient so strain a produced no colonies strain b produced no colonies but the mixture of strain a and strain b results the production of colonies which are of wild types and which do not require any type of nutrient element in its minimal medium because it is now capable to produce all nutrient elements by itself so what of the vision suggested it was suggested that some form of recombination of genes had occurred between the genome of two strains so you can say there the transfer of genes between these two of the strains friends a question arises that there could be the possibility that the wild type colonies were produced by mutation but the answer is that if the results is of mutation or you can say were due to the mutation then wild type colonies should have appeared when the strain a and strain b were placed by themselves onto a minimal medium and second second thing is that that more than one mutation requires to convert the cell into prototrophic that's why it is not mutation second thing is that okay gene is transferred but how gene is transferred bet um, between the bacteria another scientist named as bernard davis he performed an experiment in order to find out the answer of this question friends at that time it was assuming that the strain releases few of the substances that is absorbed by the cells and allows them to grow now what was actually done what did bernard davis do bernard davis basically took a glass tube which is of u shaped and pour a filter or the fixed a filter in the middle of this tube this filter allows all of the substances to pass through it except bacterial colonies or bacteria he put the strain a at one side and strain b at another side and let them grow for few hours after few hours he put the he take the culture from strain a side and pour it onto minimal medium in the same manner he take the culture of strain b from strain b side and pour it into a minimal medium but what did he see he see there are there is no colony 
strain A is remain same as it was before. Strain B remains same as it was before means there is no recombination takes place. It proves that there is must be there must be a physical contact between two of the bacterial strains in order to transfer genetic material. Friends, third question arises that either both of the bacteria are involved in the transfer of genetic material between each other. I can say is it reciprocal or one of the bacteria is involved or it is unidirectional. So William Hayes in 1953 trying to sort out this problem. He treated the strains with streptomycin and what does the purpose to use a streptomycin? A streptomycin prevents cell division, it kills cells but it allows the matting for a short period of time. Friends, he treated strain A with streptomycin, washed streptomycin, then mixed the strain with untreated strain B. Remember, at that condition, treated strain A cannot produce, cannot divide further, but it only can do matting with the strain B. It allows to go on a minimal medium, then he found the same number of colonies. But when he performed the same experiment with strain B culture, treated strain B with streptomycin, wash it, and then mixed it with untreated strain A and then grow it on a minimal medium, then no colonies appear. Friends, at this scenario, when strain A do matting with the strain B, then it transport the genetic material to the strain B. That's where strain B when divides and produce the progeny of wild types. But when strain B do matting with the strain A, then strain B do not transfer any genetic material to strain A. That's why then when the strain A produce progenies in this scenario, then it do not produce any colonies in a minimal medium because it do not convert into the prototropic. Then what does it mean? It means that the gene transfer is unidirectional because transfer of gene occurred from strain A to the strain B. Strain A termed as donor or male cell, strain B termed as a recipient or female cell. And the thing is that, is this a sexual reproduction? No, there is no sexual reproduction because in sexual reproduction, there must be transfer of genetic material between these two of the strains equally or near to equally. But it, in this scenario, it is not like so. So there is no sexual reproduction. So what concluded with all of these experiments? Number one, there is a gene transfer by recombination. Yes, we have seen the first of the experiment. Gene transfer needs physical contact. Yes, Bernard Davis proves it with the YouTube experiment. Transfer of gene is unidirectional and non-reciprocal. Yes, William Hayes also proved it and there is no sexual reproduction. Friends, hope you like this video. Hope you understand all the experiments related to bacterial conjugation. If there is any query, then please comment in the comment box. I will resolve it soon. And we'll meet in the next video. Until, uh, until then, Allah Hafiz.